Okay, welcome everyone to today's webinar. So uh, we will uh, explore a little bit about Apple Wallet, how to use it and uh, what is it first and how we can use it and some pros and cons. And uh, at the very end, we will show a video on um, like the further, further details on how to use the wallet. So what is Apple Wallet? So Apple Wallet is a digital wallet app developed by Apple that allows users to store and manage various items such as credit cards, debit cards, boarding passes, tickets, loyal cards, and more on your iPhone or Apple Watch. So basically, it functions as a centralized place for users to keep digital versions of physical items like um, a variety of cards and tickets typically kept in a traditional wallet. And here's what you can do with it, some basic functions of Apple Wallet. So you can pay for things without needing your physical card by just tapping your phone or watch. So you can really use it um, physically as a, as a wallet. And you can also store tickets for events or flights so you can put them up easily when needed. And you can also save loyalty cards so you don't have to carry the actual cards. And lastly, you can also use it, use your phone as a transit card after you store them in your Apple wallet so you can tap devices to enter or exit public transport. And how safe is it? So here are several security measures that are included um, I will expand a little bit on um, token tokenization. So when the card is stored in your Apple wallet, the real card number is not stored. Instead, some kind of token is produced. It's like a um, it's like a fake number that represents the the real number um, of a card. So when you use it, um, the real information um, will now will, will not be um, exposed to others. Instead, it will be safely kept in your phone. And there are also several other security um, features, such as um, you will be using your face ID or um, password, something like that, to, to make sure that your account, the use of a card is safe. And next, uh, we'll talk about how to use it. So first, um, how can we set up the Apple Pay? So first we open the Apple Wallet app on the phone, and then you can tap the plus button on the top right corner. And then you can follow the instructions to either scan your card or enter the details manually. Then you your bank will verify the card and once approved, it will be added to a wallet. So that's for credit card or debit card. And then for passes and tickets, you can add these items to your wallet from an email app or website by selecting add to Apple wallet button when available. So when you can add the kind of passes or tickets to the Apple wallet, um, this option will often show on the app or website that you can um, that you can see your passes and tickets. You can also scan barcodes or QR codes to save them. So when you when it's time to use the pass, simply open the wallet app, select the pass or ticket, and hold your phone up to the scanner at the gate or the entrance and the barcode or the QR code will be scanned from your device screen, just like a physical ticket. And then there are some updates with the new, newer version of um, Apple Phone and Apple Watch. So relevant inf information like a map of the stadium and other venues, local weather forecasts, recommended Apple Music playlists, now work with the live activities feature, 
So you can view your city information on the log screen and in the dynamic island when you are near the venue. So it's basically that there are more um, relative functions popping up um, on, your, on your phone through the app when you're joining an event, something like that. And for driver's license and ID, to add an ID, tap the plus button on the top right of the wallet app's main menu. So when you want to add anything, usually we just tap that plus um, button on the top right corner. And then select driver's license or state ID and follow the on-screen instructions to start the setup and verification process. You'll then need to take a selfie and scan the front and back of your driver's license or state ID card, which will be sent to um, the California DMV for verification. And then moving on to loyalty cards and coupons. So for adding loyalty cards, retailers often provide an option to add loyalty card or membership card to Apple Wallet when you sign up for a loyalty program or through their app or website. So um, you can pay attention to um, what the, like any instructions on the website to see if there is an option for um, adding to the Apple Wallet. And when shopping, open the Apple Wallet app, show the digital card at checkout and the cashier will scan it from your device and you can also redeem store coupons stored in the wallet app this way. And next for the transit cards, adding transit cards um, is quite simple. You can add it for your city or region from the wallet app or a transit authority app. And when you're at the bus or train station, just tap your iPhone or Apple Watch on the transit reader to pay for your ride. There's no need to unlock your phone, just uh, so it, it can make it faster and more convenient. And many transit cards in Apple Wallet can be reloaded directly from the app, meaning you can top up your balance easily without visiting a ticket machine. And we, have also, we also have the order tracking um, feature in the Wallet app. So you can view order status and estimated arrival time, or if there are any issues with your order, your order number, purchase total, and the status of your payment. You can contact the merchant directly from the wallet app. You can also get a detailed receipt for, for Apple Pay transactions. And then regarding connecting cars and viewing the um, the balance for different cards there are um, it, it works kind of differently. So for for credit cards and debit card, um, you need to go to the bank's app to um, to view how much balance is left and to see the notifications. But you can use it from the Apple Wallet. But for loyalty card and um, for loyalty card, you can. You can tap the card to see the balance, and for transit card, it, it works kind kind somehow the same. So you can tap the card and see how much credit you have. Then some pros and cons. So for pros, um, there are a lot of benefits to use Apple Wallet. It's secure, contactless payments using Face ID or Touch ID, and it's a convenient storage for multiple cars, passes, and tickets. And it gives you real-time alerts and updates for passes and transactions. Um, it is also integrated with transit systems, loyalty programs, and digital keys, and it's totally free. But there are also some cons with it. It's not available on Android or Windows, so it limits cross-platform usage but we will also in, introduce some um, digital wallets, other digital wallets app that can be used on these platforms. Apple Wallet also relies on device battery power. So a dead 
battery means no access. So if you're going out with only your phone to use your Apple Wallet, you need to make sure that it is um it still has battery so that the device and the app can be used. It also requires merchant and transit system support for full use. Google Wallet and Samsung Pay also offer similar um, services. So for Google Wallet, it's available on Android, works on Windows PCs, integrates more seamlessly with Google services. And for Samsung Pay, it can work with older payment terminals that don't support NFC, making it more widely accepted in certain regions. Um, yeah, um, we have we also have some other links and resources that can show they can show you how to use Apple Wallet. Um, if you're interested, we can also play some of them in the dis discussion time. So thank you all very much for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with the Cyber Seniors Mentor, um, please go to the Cyber Senior um, website or call this number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone, phone session. Um, there's also weekly tech dropping sessions on Thursdays. And thank you guys very much again for listening.